segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Well, the coronavirus pandemic is tough for everyone, especially if you're pregnant. The new normal of staying at home and being separated from loved ones in the delivery room or in the hospital is adding stress for pregnant and even breastfeeding women. Nurse Al Romeo with the Utah Department of Health joins us now to talk about the importance of maternal mental health. What can women do, Al? So we want to make sure that mom realizes that untreated maternal stress can cause problems for the pregnancy, increase um, blood pressure, increase her chance for depression. And that untreated depression can also cause further problems, including low birth weight, premature delivery, and for babies that are breastfeeding can cause problems with mom bonding with baby, leading to problems with developmental delays. Okay, so what are the red flags? I mean, when do you realize it's more than just pregnancy hormones? Sure, so moms, if they're not interested in doing some of the things that they used to do, if they're feeling down or depressed, some, even some of those, you know, kind of mild things, um, she could check with her provider and they can be able to, you know, do some of those screenings. Her usual provider, her OB, um, or even the baby's pediatrician um, the American Academy of Pediatrics is recommending those pediatricians do those maternal mental health screenings so that she gets the help that she needs. It's important that she makes sure that she gets that help. And it's not always medication. There are a lot of a variety of different treatments, right? Especially Correct. for pregnant. There's Right, there's talk therapy, there's a variety of different therapies. Um, her provider may have one or the other in mind for her, depending on her symptoms and her situation. But yes, they may also look at medications for her. And if she has questions about those, um, she can contact us. But usually the untreated mood conditions are worse for mom and baby than those medications. Okay, Nurse Al, some great information. And if anybody wants more help on this and, and links to resources, go to KUTV.com and click on Baby or Baby. Thank you.